Hey guys, it is Tyler here back once again with another weekly ramble video. If you don't know what this is, this is just me picking a topic once a week to talk about, to ramble on about, to fuck around with, I guess. There's not going to be editing out anything, there's not going to be cuts, it's just a bunch of ums and ahs in between me talking. So, that's how it's going to go, and the topic for this episode... Uh, that was voted by you guys over on Twitter. So I'm looking at the poll now as it's ending. Um, so I put up a few options. And the one that won is current feelings about Assassin's Creed. Now, I probably should address before I even start that this is Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag multiplayer in the background. You guys seem to have been enjoying that the past couple of weeks. This is the game I wanted to show last week. It's a quite a hilarious game. You saw me writing a message when at the start of the video. But what that is, is like... Some player, right, uh, actually was helping me out for in the most bizarre way. They're like they're on the public chat going, "Tynamite, Tynamite, I've got you. Stun me, stun me." And they'll be like, "Tynamite, do you have me? Kill me, kill me. Get a good kill. Focus." I'm like, "What? What? Why are you helping me?" Like they did a little bit in this in the last game, but in this game they just kept doing it, and I was like, "Holy shit, this is hilarious." You can see this. Like, they want me to get the highest kill possible. I'm, I don't know who this is. I don't know why they helped me. But, I, you, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to admit this straight up to you guys. That uh, I have no regrets. And uh, I, I saw an opportunity and I took it. That's what heroes do. Anyway, back to the topic. Like, talking about my current feelings of Assassin's Creed. The other one uh, that people wanted was the to talk about me moving. Because I'm currently in the process of moving a house, moving apartments. Uh, and I'll do that for next week's ramble probably, just a bit about that because it's actually happening next weekend, most of the actual moving process, so I'll have more to talk about next week, so it's just better off we do it that way, um, as well. So, we can talk about my feelings of Assassin's Creed, which isn't directly Assassin's Creed talk, to be honest with you guys, because, uh, in, in that sense I also want to address a tweet I tweeted out yesterday, which was the fact I said that Kingdom Hearts is by far... And above my favorite game series of all time. Uh, I decided yesterday, I realized that uh, over the years it's been tough split between Kingdom Hearts and Halo and Assassin's Creed. And it was Assassin's Creed before Assassin's Creed 3, and then I didn't know. I was like, I don't really know anymore. And over the years, since the Etio trilogy, uh, the games have lost their way, and it's not a thing, and uh, this is going to be a whole separate video, I'm going to talk about the old versus the new games, and this isn't a, some nostalgia fest, people are like, you didn't like it because of nostalgia, it's not that fucking old that I'm going to, that it's that crazy of nostalgia, it's not like Kingdom Hearts 1, where it's 15 years ago, and I'm remembering my childhood, you know, like, I was a teenager and I played Assassin's Creed, uh, for the first time, and sure it is nostalgia, but I can, it still doesn't feel like that old to me that I'm like, oh, it's the old games, because they release every year. Assassin's Creed, and this is the biggest problem with it, with Old vs. New, my biggest argument for it is, I mean, there's so many reasons why the old games are better than the new games, and the main one is direction and oversaturation, and obviously that's why I'm very, very happy they took the last 12 months off Assassin's Creed releasing, but then they had this movie, which was a fucking abortion, but... My point is the fact that when you've got so much content coming out, uh, it just becomes so oversaturated with ideas, and because it's happening so frequently, it can't be one writer, so it's a bunch of writers that fucking contradict each other, and that's caused nothing but chaos over the years, and back during the Assassin's Creed 1 and Ezio trilogy, uh, that just wasn't an occurrence nearly as much. And uh, people can argue there's just as much Kingdom Hearts. There is just as much Kingdom Hearts. It's very uh, confusing in some ways, but it all fits together. And the reason that is, is because it's been spread over the last 15 years, not the last 9, 10 years now. Um, and you've had probably less Kingdom Hearts in the last 15 years than you have Assassin's Creed in the last 9, 10 years. So, as well, Kingdom Hearts-wise, it's just one writer. And Kingdom Hearts has never once let me down. All their games are fucking phenomenal. They continue to wow me. I just finished 2.8 yesterday. I literally finished Dream Drop Distance and then I played 0 0.2 and watched uh, Keyback Cover. Like, it, the collection's amazing. And I'm just like, wow, this is just getting me so excited for 3. And I can't wait to go back and replay Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2, Birth by Sleep, all those games in the next 1.5 plus 2.5 collections. Like, that's 
What I'm excited about, these games that have never once let me down, they are their own story. It's a vision that Tetsu Nomura um, had when he was developing Kingdom Hearts and he's, you know, stuck with it and we're going to get his goals, I guess. We're going to get what he wanted to make. Assassin's Creed, I don't know what it is anymore. I really don't know what it is anymore. It's not a singular story. It's a bunch of stories that don't connect well anymore, that don't make sense anymore. There's can canonical events and storylines that completely contradict others. It's so confusing and makes just no sense. So... I just... In, in, because of that, it's hard to be able to sit there and defend Assassin's Creed to be some epic, awesome franchise that is just so well written, because it's not. That's just a fact. I love Assassin's Creed. Don't get me wrong, I love Assassin's Creed, but we, we can't sit here and fucking uh, fondle its balls about it any other way. It's not well written anymore. It just isn't. It's so contradicting now. And it, at one point it was really well written. Can I get back to that? Absolutely. There's just a lot they have to do. They know what they have to do, but that's just my current feelings at the moment when it comes to this. And I know it's like ironic coming from Assassin's Creed YouTuber. I think someone tweeted me yesterday when I said Kingdom Hearts is my favorite franchise. And I said, not really. One, I played Kingdom Hearts long before I ever even heard about Assassin's Creed. Long before Assassin's Creed was ever a thing. Kingdom Hearts is one of my favorite franchises and games. And at one point, Kingdom Hearts 1 was my favorite game of all time. For a long time, it was. For a very long time, Kingdom Hearts 1 was my favorite game of all time. Um, for pro probably the first five to ten years, it was my favorite game of all time since its release. Sorry, just drinking my coffee at the same time. That's kind of the, the beauties of this ramble video. Mm. But what I'm saying is I'm not trying to shit on Assassin's Creed. That's just how I feel about it right now. You know what I mean? Like, this is just my open, honest discussion with you guys about how I feel. And I think there's good reasons I feel this way. And I don't... You know, I've said this time and time again, Assassin's Creed isn't my favorite franchise. Assassin's Creed is my job. Uh, it's what I do. It's what I know. I know more about Assassin's Creed than I do about Kingdom Hearts, than I do about Halo. But I like both of those franchises just that little bit more than Assassin's Creed. Kingdom Hearts a lot more. It's Halo a bit more. And I know a lot more about Assassin's Creed because it's my job. I know the ins and outs of almost every storyline and character from all major games. I play the shit out of all the games. I still love Assassin's Creed and they're fun games to play. And when I say they're not well written, that's not to say they're not fun games. And there's been a lot of trouble with their writing over the years, and I still stand by at the moment. Darby McDevitt's the only one I really love his writing. You know, he wrote Revelations, he wrote Black Flag, two of my favourites, and probably the two best written storylines in all of the series in terms of in their own standalone games and the way uh, the games are connecting to each other at the moment. None of them are really connecting really well to each other in terms of modern day. This is all stuff they know. This is all stuff you've heard me talk about before. But those things that I keep talking about, what they need to improve on, is why currently I feel uh, not that interested in Assassin's Creed. You know, I didn't... People are sitting there and they said they enjoyed the movie because it was Assassin's Creed-y, right? Like, they got to see Assassin's Creed in a movie. They, they had that feeling, even though, you know, James would say, he's like, I know it's a bad movie, but just as an Assassin's Creed fan, I love that I got to see Assassin's Creed stuff on the big screen, and that's when I started to realise, right, that not only did I hate the movie, one, because it's a terrible movie, and two, as an Assassin's Creed fan, uh, and Assassin's Creed, what I call analyst, uh, it's also completely contradicting of the games and the franchise, and it's a piece of shit. But also, let's... But then, where's the fan in you, Tyler? Where's the fan in you that can just see an assassin on the movie screen and be like, that's amazing. Holy shit. Like, how fun's that? And I said, well, I don't know where he is. Because clearly he's not there because there was no sympathy, no love for anything they did in that movie. And that's, you know, when you look at it that way, it's like... You know, obviously I'm a fan, I'm going to play the next game, I'm going to sit here and do videos on it, I'm doing a video on it right now. 
That's what I do. It is my job. And I'm committed to it. And I love the job of it. But there's no... I don't know if the fan in me that has this weird inner... Oh my god! Oh my god! That's amazing! Even exists in the realm of Assassin's Creed anymore. I don't think he's even still there. I don't think even if the next game's amazing, I could ever have that oh my god moment. Like, for example, uh, in Kingdom Hearts 2.8, when I'm playing 0.2 Birth by Sleep yesterday, one of the games in the collection, and this epic moment happens that connects the first game with some events in that game and other games has all these connections. I'm sitting there like, oh my god, I can't believe it, oh my god, like it all makes sense, ah! I don't think that could, I could ever have that about Assassin's Creed. I don't think that guy in me exists anymore. And that's sad. And that's what I'm starting to realise. I hope I'm wrong. But it's just because they're so disconnected, how could I even have those feelings? Like, what could they write that would make me feel like that? I don't know. Maybe it's Desmond Sun's the answer. Again, I just... I don't know. I'm just going to have to wait and see. But the reality is, if this next game is bad... I don't know... Uh, what to tell you. Really. I don't know what to tell you. Can even the professional in me want to make videos on that franchise? We'll have to wait and see. But at the moment, Assassin's Creed's my job. And I love the games. But... The fan in me is probably dead a little, if not all, and I hope he can get revived at this stage because at the moment the games I'm looking forward to aren't Assassin's Creed, uh, they're Kingdom Hearts related, they're Halo related, they're Mass Effect related, other things. Sure, I'm excited for the next game uh, because it's my job and I look forward to doing videos and building it up, and hopefully the game's fun, but I don't have high hopes. I have very minimal expectations. That's just the reality, unfortunately. We're going to have to see what happens. That's my feelings at the moment about Assassin's Creed. It's a little sad. It's a little fucking depressing. But it is what it is. And that's the truth. I'm not going to lie to you guys and tell you I'm just the biggest fan ever. Love me uh, forever. I'll always love Assassin's Creed because that's not true. Uh, I hope and I want it to be good. And the, something I forgot to mention that's the truth is that it has the potential to be really good in the future. They can fix it. Uh, let's just hope this uh, next game can be the first stepping stone in repairing my relationship with the franchise, my fandom with the franchise. So that's that, guys. Thank you for watching another weekly ramble. I really enjoy these and you guys seem to be enjoying them too. Uh, next week I'll probably be talking about my move, if not something else that happens throughout the week that I feel is potent to discuss. And there's a few topics that isn't all gaming or Assassin's Creed related that I like to talk about in the future. Whether it be just life related, anything like that. If you've got ideas, let me know in the comments below. Thank you again for watching, ladies and gentlemen. And I will see you very soon for the next weekly ramble.